This is our first time in Frankfurt. Oh my god, guys, like, look what we found. In India, we think like Maggie just is the noodles. Oh wow, this was back when? It just blends the old with the modern so seamlessly. Italian pasta. Julia is like my personal computer. This is so beautiful, look at all these lights. So if you want to immigrate to Germany and are scared of German, Frankfurt your go-to destination. <laughs> the soul has come off. <laughs> Hey everyone, Shrey here. Julia here. We're in the city of Frankfurt. Frankfurt and mine. <laughs> Make sure you don't confuse them with There Frankfurt are two Frankfurts in Germany. And in Frankfurt, we're actually staying at a very special place. Yes. We're staying at the Sofitel Opera Hotel here in Frankfurt. Yeah. And fun fact, they're actually celebrating five years of anniversary this month. So it's also like a really nice time to be at the hotel. They were so kind, they left us some macarons, nice flowers, and I think the most beautiful thing is the view. I think for me, what I really like about this room is that it's a 360 degree room. Yeah. So I can actually like walk inside the room yeah. as much as I want without being stopped, you know. <laughs> And I really like this desk, you know, so it's also important for us to like work on stuff, upload things and they have a really yeah. nice premium looking desk. And the best part is that they're taking like really nice measures when it comes to COVID. So we feel really safe. They have like masks uh, and hand sanitizer kits everywhere. Yeah. And they're cleaning the surfaces and it's just like you get a sense that like you're safe here. And that's really important in the times of COVID when like traveling can be a little bit risky. There's something that you don't know about Shrey, maybe. No, I don't think you ever said it. Right? Je parle français un petit peu parce que j'étudie à Paris. Mm. So what I just said was that I actually speak a little bit of French because I studied in Paris. Yeah. And actually like at the, the Sofitel Frankfurt, this hotel, like it's inspiring. Like it takes me back to my time in, in Paris and yeah. in France, you know, like living the French way. Everyone is greeting us in French, which is in so bonjour. beautiful. Yeah, I haven't been using my French for so long. And uh, yeah, it takes me back to my days in, in France, such nice memories, you know, so I'm so happy here. Like reliving the, the French experience again. Good morning. I just put some moisturizer. <laughs> we have a really important announcement to make right now. So, we were just, you know, chit chatting, opening the terrace door, and we were like, oh, this is such a nice view. Look at the nice trees. And then we just turn and we see this. And you by now know that we live on the fifth floor, so we really like penthouses. Penthouses. Let me try to zoom. You see this house? Okay, so we just love it. <laughs> this is the type of house that we really would like to have. Hey, have you seen my belt? <laughs> it's inside the luggage. Julia is like my personal computer. She knows to the exact specific location where everything is. I have a GPS. I basically have put a GPS on all the things that, be, that belongs to Shrey. No, no, inside the luggage. Just, you know, play around with stuff. <laughs> Today is gonna be a really good day because we're gonna have a tour of the city. We're really excited because this is our first time in Frankfurt, so we really don't know the city at all. Uh, but before that, we need food. We need Brecky. So actually this is a unique lift that we've seen here. Yeah. There are no buttons here. There's a touch screen just outside. Yeah, it's just a touch screen. You use that, you tell it where you wanna, want it to go. Yeah. And it takes you there. Okay, so this is my breakfast. I'm gonna have my breakfast in many rounds. So the first round is just like, let's say the first course, then I'm gonna go for the juices and the fruits, then I'm probably gonna go for like a yogurt and some milk and some cornflakes. So that's why it's a bit like this. One thing I wanna tell you is, I learned this trick from my friend. The best way to spread butter on a toast is just put like a piece of butter on the toast and let it sit for about one or two minutes. And because the toast is hot, the butter will eventually melt and then it becomes really easy to spread. So you learned a new trick now. 
Look, I just got. I just, it's just so beautiful. Should I even drink it? I don't know. This is my almond milk latte. All right, guys. So we're finally doing the tour of Frankfurt. It's Julia and mine. It's our first time in Frankfurt. Yeah, we're actually discovering already a lot of things. This is the first two minutes. We Super have an amazing exciting. guy that we want yes. to introduce you to. Say hi David. to David. <laughs> Hello. I'm Dave. <laughs> He's been in Frankfurt for a super long time and yeah, he knows 35 years. the history and the ins and outs of this city better than anybody else. Yes. So super excited about this tour. We're gonna leave his contacts in the description. So if you are coming to Frankfurt and you wanna take a tour, contact him. We definitely recommend him. It's a long time ago, 35 years ago. It was the time of the Cold War. So there was a very heavy American presence in, in Frankfurt. This is a very American city. Um, it's changed over the years and it's just got better and better. Oh my God, guys, God. Oh my guys. Oh my God, guys. Like, <laughs> look what we found. It's a Nike studio. This is like the dream for me. I think we're going to come back here for sure. Prior to the uh, Second World War, when Hitler was there, the Central Bank of Germany at that time, the Reichsbank, was in Berlin. After the Second World War, that all changed. Berlin was then split up into four sectors yes, okay. and the area was surrounded by the Russians. That's so the, the Reichsbank had to find a new home. They came to ah, Frankfurt. That's why then it became the capital of the bank. Absolutely. Ah. This, that's in the mid 50s. Mid 50s. And then they rebuilt this. Yeah. Wow. Look, this is how the square was before and how it is today. This is something that I love a lot about Germany. That they didn't give up on how things used to look like also after the bombing in the Second World War and just decided to reproduce exactly the same. It's beautiful. They don't want to give up. Guys, if you see like Julia like nervously walking or walking in a weird way, <laughs> it's because her heels come like the, the sole has come off. Let me show you. It's the worst time for the, the sole to come off, like when you're in the middle of a walking tour of the city. These things always happen at these times, you know. So as you know, Julia's uh, soles broke off. This is basically the situation. Now we're gonna try different pairs of shoes. So we're doing some emergency shopping. Which one? <laughs> okay, so we have new shoes. We have new shoes. I also found these really cool shoes with some platforms. Love it. Love it. Gonna wear it. Enough of the tourist places because now we're gonna take a Oh my god. To his place. Oh my god, my heart is beating. I don't know if you can see, I'm sweating too out of excitement. But you'll see exactly why I'm so excited right now. This is why. This is called like Maggie Cook Studio, which is translated in Maggie Cooking Studio. I'm not sure if they have the Maggie that Shrey is looking for. The thing is like in India we think like Maggie just is the noodles, but Maggie is a brand and they make like a whole bunch of things like uh, sauces, the pastas, the soups. And so I think this is probably like that store. I'm gonna give you a breaking news. All right, are you ready for that? You know the chain five guys? That's where we're at. What they can do for you is that they can give you any burger and any sandwich without the bread. So with the lettuce wrap, which is like a huge game changer. If like me, you try to eat healthier. I'm so happy. I just found out by Instagram, but I thought it was just in America. So I came here, I asked the lady here in Germany and I was like, wow, they do it here too. So this is the tip from Aunt Julia. Enjoy it. So what I like about Frankfurt is that it just blends the old with the modern so seamlessly. If you look here, this is like the part of the old buildings and behind those are like the new modern architecture. It's, uh, it's quite nice. And I don't know if there's like any other city where you could get such a similar experience, you know, like in New York. Maybe you just have like the modern stuff, but not like the old. 
What do you think? I agree. <laughs> she has no other choice. <laughs> okay, so now it is spa time. My favorite time. So we're actually trying the spa bench. The spa bench is the first time. The and this is what it looks like. The first is gonna be Shrey going. Yes. And then it's gonna be me. <laughs> So how was it? It was so relaxing. So I understood what it is. It's basically like a bath that has a lot of water underneath. And what it does is basically just pushes the water and the impact of the water on your body makes the massage. And I decided to pick a really strong um, massage. And oh my God, it's so relaxing. I feel like going to sleep. <laughs> Me too. Let me tell you the story of this beautiful hotel. It used to be a French house where a joint family used to live all together. And when the hotel took over the building, they decided to keep the same atmosphere. So this is, for example, the reproduction of the living room. We had a lot of souvenirs that you can see because whenever someone from the family was traveling, they were bringing back home something to remember that trip. Okay, so the most important part of the day is here. Can you guess what it is? It's food! Look at what we have here. There is one thing that Shrey and I love a lot and that's in-room dining. So we decided to order the food and have dinner in the room because it's so chilled. And yeah, we had a lot of food, actually a lot of veggies because today we didn't have enough. And Shay got Italian pasta. These are tagliolini with tomato sauce, his favorite. I got Caesar salad, some roasted veggies, some spinach, mashed potatoes. And we have two soups because it's fall time. So we're gonna have warm food. This is the tomato soup. Wow, high five. Okay, should we have food now? Time to eat. Time to eat. So as you might have figured out, our train is over here, which means it's time to leave Frankfurt, unfortunately. We had an amazing time. Our first time in Frankfurt was such an amazing memory. And an amazing stay at the Sofidel. We want to wish it a happy birthday, because it's yes. exactly five years since the first guest checked happy in. Happy birthday, Sofidel Opera. All right then, I hope you like the video. As always, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Another day, another vlog. No! Our start is not that. Our start is like, hey everyone, Julia here. The new and the old, and now we're sort of like. It's not the right time to vlog. <laughs> well, maybe there's constructions going on.